it's almost the end of school so you guys are going to be home for weeks months depending on where you are i'm excited for you guys we've been on a joseph series we've been talking about this young boy called joseph if you haven't seen those other videos you better go back and catch up on those ones but yes we've been talking about joseph and this is gonna be the last of it the last video we talked about joseph finally revealing himself to his brothers and how there was like so many reactions in the room they were excited they were crying but overly joyed about this new revelation after staying there for a while joseph told his brothers to go back to canaan to get his father and the rest of the family those days they use wagons for transportation they use horses donkeys these days we use cars and being the kind of person joseph is a whole prime minister i can imagine he must have used the best of the wagons in Egypt. And if I think about it now, what kind of car would you think he would send? Hmm. I don't know, maybe one of those luxurious fancy cars. <laughs> Anyways, Joseph sends his brothers back home to Canaan with those nice wagons to bring their father back to Egypt to stay with him. When they got back to Canaan, they told their father everything that happened. Their father was like, Are you guys kidding me? What did you just say? Joseph! My son, that I lost many years ago, is alive, not just alive, but a prime minister in Egypt. That is not possible. No, you guys are messing with me. You guys are lying. You guys are joking with me because this is impossible in any way, shape or form. But finally, after so much talking and so much convincing, he decided to pack up everything they have. Everything they have their children and their children's children's children their servants their properties everything they had in canaan to go all the way to egypt to stay with joseph you can only imagine jacob's reaction when he finally sees joseph <sighs> can i even think about it can i even imagine it you know how you lose something really valuable or something really precious but you finally see it the joy and the happiness you experience is compared to what Jacob experienced when he finally saw Joseph. Joseph was able to convince Pharaoh to give his father a beautiful area, a beautiful side of the country called Goshen so that he and the rest of the family could settle there. If you followed me or you watched the first part of this series, you understand the joy I have inside of me. I can't even express my excitement, my happiness, just knowing that finally, Jacob got reunited with his son. You guys already know how much Jacob loved Joseph. He made him that favorite coat. He was his favorite child and he didn't hide it. He made everybody who cared to know, know about this. So getting to lose him and then finally finding him was just too much. But as a parent, I am really happy for Jacob. I'm also happy for Joseph and his brothers and all the rest of the family for finally reuniting. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys what I learned from the story and I want you to tell me what you learned from the story. If you have access to type, I'm going to ask you to type your answers and send it to the comment section and I'm going to be there reading each and every comment from you. See, let me tell you, if you live in the world with people, people will always wrong you. Unfortunately, people will always step on your toes, do things to hurt your feelings, do things to wrong you. But you are always encouraged to forgive because you know what? When you forgive people, you are indirectly setting yourself free. Have you ever had to think about what somebody did to you? You're going to probably be awake at night thinking about, Oh, he did this. He said that. She did this. She did that to me. She... You're going to be thinking about this thing the whole time. You're not going to have peace of mind. You're not going to have a good sleep. You're just going to be stressing yourself over what somebody did to you. But if you forgive them, you easily let go of whatever grudge or anything you have in your mind against that person. So forgiving somebody is actually freeing for you. Friends, I want you to learn something today. Even if somebody doesn't apologize to you or feel bad or feel sorry, just forgive them. But make sure that you're more careful dealing with them. That's it. Also, stay true to yourself no matter where you find yourself. Guys, this is so huge. 
when joseph found himself in egypt he could have done so many things he could have done so many things he's not supposed to do there was no father there was no mother there was no brothers or anybody around there to say stop what you're doing he had the will the freedom everything he needed to live whatever life he wanted to live but he was true to his beliefs and to the almighty and his commandments and he stuck to it even when potiphar's wife tried to push him to do what was wrong he insisted i will not do that not listen to you and do that wicked thing that you're asking me to do he got in trouble he was thrown into prison for a crime he didn't commit he continued staying true even amidst all the craziness and difficulties that he had to go through no matter where you are whether mommy is watching whether daddy is watching if you know what is right, just do it. Just do it. Because guess who is always watching? <gasps> Our Heavenly Father is always watching you. The truth will always come out. It might take days, it might take weeks, it might take months, it might take years. But the truth will always come out. So stick to the truth. Don't let anyone push you or pressurize you to do what you know is wrong. I know now that you're in school, your friends are going to be asking you to do things you're not supposed to do. Oh, don't tell your mom. Oh, don't tell your dad. Sneak out of the house. Steal this. Lie about this. Guys, please, when you have friends that push you to do those kind of things, tell them you can't do it and try to avoid them. Don't fall for their pressures. What did I say? Don't. Don't fall for their pressures okay jealousy jealousy oh my goodness look guys let's talk about this okay we are all different what did i say we cannot be the same we cannot be equal we cannot have the same thing that a has a cannot have the same thing as b has you might have more you might have less you might have nothing at all you might have everything but think about it if we all had the same thing lived in the same kind of house drove the same kind of cars went to the same kind of schools the world is gonna be a boring place there will be nothing exciting to talk about because are you gonna talk about your school i attend the same school are you gonna talk about your job well i attend the same job right are you gonna talk about your car or your house what are you gonna talk about it's the same thing there is no point trying to copy somebody else there is no point trying to say why do they have that and i don't have it why don't they have this why 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 there is just no answer for it if you understand this very well there will be no need for you to be jealous of anyone if somebody has something you don't have be happy for them be happy for them even if it's something you want even if it's something you really want oh my goodness i really want this still be happy for them while you're waiting and praying that you get the same thing you're gonna once in a while say oh that is nice i wish i had it or uh she has this thing and i wish i look it's natural think, but thinking about it and trying to get ways to make somebody feel bad or fail or get into trouble because all because they have what you don't have that's where the problem is what will be will be guys say this with me what will be will be joseph's brothers thought they were selling him off they thought oh we're gonna just sell this guy off and this whole thing about us buying down to him will never happen but did it happen that way absolutely not his brothers ended up bowing down to him that dream finally came to pass so what will be will be it doesn't matter how you want to push it it doesn't matter how you want to fight it it doesn't matter how jealous you are it doesn't matter what you want to do about it what will be will be if our heavenly father has said this is what's gonna happen this is how it's gonna happen it's gonna happen through you it's gonna happen through that's exactly what's gonna happen thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed today's video the next video i'm gonna put up will be a quiz between two kingdom citizens answer questions about the joseph series so stick around do not go anywhere i'm confident sure you don't want to miss on it if you have anything else you learned from this story put it down in the comment section i'll be right there reading your comment i hope you guys are being good wherever you are are you keep being amazing kingdom citizens and i'll catch you guys in my next Bye guys!